Here's a quick tutorial on how to add the cast image into your Plex running a, on a Synology NAS. Um, you can add all of the metadata you want into your home videos, but as this Redditor was saying, metadata can't hold actor images, which is unfortunate. So we're going to have to use a custom plugin, a custom agent, and I'm going to use Avalon XML agent bundle. Um, if you want to follow his install guide, you can just follow that using SSH. But if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you real quick. So you're going to download the zip. Um, there it is on the desktop there. And we're going to upload it into our Synology NAS. So log in um, and go to this specific folder. So in your NAS, um, your Plex library, application support, Plex media server, plugins, and right here. So you're going to click upload and you're going to upload that zip file. Extract it. Nice and simple. Extract here. Just make sure it says Avalon XML agent dot bundle and there's no dash master afterwards because um, then it won't work. And also make sure it says contents and that's the next folder in. Sometimes it's like a secondary folder. So it should look like that. And once you that's all good to go, you can go into your package center and Plex Media Server, stop and start to, to add the plugin into it. Okay, uh, once that's done, you can go to your home movie sections, um, manage library, edit, advanced, and here you'll see a new agent called the, X, uh, the Avalon XML Movie Agent. Click that, save changes, great. So now we need to tell this specific file what cast members and which images they have. Um, okay, so let's go to them. Plex Media, no movies. Here it is. So Bell Dancing XML. So very importantly, we need to have the exact same name. Um, all the all the details um, in the guy's um, GitHub. You can read them all here. You can copy and paste his um, XML example, but you're gonna create a new XML. You can just create something on the desktop here, text document uh, dot XML, and you can delete the dot text, and that'll save it as an XML file. Um, and then you just upload it, upload it there. Yep. Okay, so once it's uploaded, um, What's really important is also the release date. Uh, if the release date is not right, it will not work. And it has to, be, has to be month and a day as well. You can't just have 2003. Weirdly, I don't know why, but it has to look like that. Okay, now here's the good, this is the bit we want, um, the name and the thumbnail. Where is the image coming from? This has to be a URL. Unfortunately, you can't, um, hold it on the server. So I just hold it on a um, Dropbox. You could use Imager too. Uh, but if you throw it in your Dropbox, just have an image. Uh, you want to right click it. Um, which one is it? Copy Dropbox link. There we go. And we can paste it into the thumbnail section. And don't forget to change the ending tag. We don't want that. We want raw. Raw equals one. So that just makes it so the um, you're grabbing the actual file and not the the Dropbox's GUI. Hit save, and if we go back to our Plex and refresh, there it is. Okay, so now the images are there. Um, there you go. So that's uh, that's how to do it.